for everyone here, and then afterwards, Coach can give a statement about that one. Nolan Heisman's. I'm Nick Hens. And Lance West. And I'll go ahead and get started and uh, try and keep it brief tonight so we can go uh, hang out with the players and uh, spend a little time with them before Christmas. So um, I guess, you know, this weekend, I just talked about it as a whole. I thought the guys, and one of the messages, and it's always hard, is just to stay with the game plan. Uh, don't deviate. Play the right way. Play down at hockey. And, you know, our guys did that for 120 minutes and 60 minutes tonight. Um, they didn't get too fancy, maybe once in a while, but not too often. And just did what we asked. And, you know, they're, they're a team that's vastly improved. They're, they're, they battle hard in the D zone and they get hard for you to get to the net. And our guys had to earn them tonight, and they did earn them tonight. And that's the way you have to play to win games. So, um, you know, I know it doesn't make them feel any better, but they got two goaltenders over there that played fantastic all weekend. And they battled, and we were just able to, uh, to, to win some battles in front of the net and get some power play goals. So, you know, credit to our guys, too. They just stuck with it, stuck with it. And, you know, we didn't give too much up over the 60 minutes and just did a great job. So it's nice going into the break um, with the first sweep, and hopefully you guys can get rested and, and build off this positive uh, as we get going after Christmas. So speaking of that, I'd like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and have a safe and happy holiday, and I'll let you talk to the guys you want to talk to. Nick, last year with the Ice Dogs, stalwart defenseman through your career in juniors. You come in here as a, as a walk-on now defensively. You get, kind of get thrown in the fire a little bit at Mankato. Played four games now. In my opinion, one of the better defensive defensemen we have on the team at the moment. Talk about the development here so far in joining a Division One program in this, in this fashion. I mean, it's definitely a lot faster. The guys are a lot stronger. But uh, I think it was good that I kind of took some – the coaches let me take some time to get used to the speed and practice. Uh, Tried to work hard in practice, and uh, the guys have, have been great trying to get me along to the level. So. Uh, 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 no, I mean, uh, uh, how important uh, was it for you guys to be able to uh, go into uh, this break here uh, with a sweep? Uh, yeah, anytime you can, um, you know, obviously we got, I think it's three weeks now until we play again, so anytime you can go into a, a layoff like that where you're feeling pretty good about where your game's at, um, you're able to, you know, enjoy your break and come back and fresh and ready to go for the second half. Let's talk about the goalie for you guys tonight. Davis Jones, back-to-back -back wins for him. He gets a third shutout of the year. Uh, and 14 saves, though, is all he had to make. Talk about not just Davis Jones, but the defensive effort in front of him and the guys laying out and making those big blocks all night long. Well, <laughs> someone turned that on when I wasn't looking, huh? So. You know, those are really tough games for a goaltender. I mean, when you get 14 shots and all of a sudden there's some good scoring chances, four or five A opportunities, mentally that's a tough challenge. I don't think many people who played the position and had to experience that, but as a coach you appreciate it and you just look for him to stay sharp. Um, and I think he did that. And you can see that, you know, the rebounds, the other stuff. So anytime a goalie has a shutout, it doesn't matter how many shots it is, he's mentally prepared and he did his job. So, you know, it's great to see. And, that's what we needed the last little while, and he stepped up here. So, you know, we lost Sean to an injury, and hopefully he'll be back after Christmas. But Davis had his opportunity, and he made the best of it this weekend. Um, defensively, I think, we, you know, having the puck is the best defense, and I think this weekend we had a lot of puck possession. We did a great job of possessing the puck, cycling the puck, moving the puck in transition, and when you do that, you don't have to play defense. So I think those were probably the, the two keys. Coach, yesterday, Garrett Perry gets uh, gets taken taken out of the game with a pretty hard hit there. Um, misses tonight, guys like Brandon Morley stepping up on the top line. Can you talk about the, the tra transition there for the top line and the timeline for Perry coming back? Yeah, I have absolutely no idea when he'll be back. Um, I think, you know, the break for Christmas will help him. He got hit pretty good there and uh, is a little tender, but, you know, he would have played if we let him. But uh, I think, you know, better just to take some time off. And, you know, that's what you have to have. You're going to have injuries. You're going to have things. And, you know, it's a team game, and you have to have guys step up and fill spots. And, you know, Brandon's played uh, a lot of hockey with his brother. There's chemistry there. You know how to play. And, you know, and did a good job. He worked hard and then did what he had to do. And then, you know, Jared Larson hadn't played in seven games, and he comes in. I thought, you know, he played a great hockey game. He just he didn't come in and try and do stuff he's not supposed to. Came in and played the game the right way, finished some checks, chip pucks, you know, had a couple opportunities. So, you know, that's what it's about at the Division One level. I mean, it's a mental challenge when you're in and out of the lineup, and those guys did the job, and that's what they have to do. Nolan, after a, a low-scoring game last night, you guys came out and, and you helped get this, this scoring outburst started here tonight. Walk us through that and, and how you guys were successful offensively tonight to put up those four goals. Um, I mean, obviously last night we had a lot of pretty good chances. Uh, they just weren't going in. So I think tonight, um, you know, we just made sure that we were burying our chances when we had the opportunity. And, 
Yeah, I don't know. Like it was kind of. I think we had three power play goals tonight, and so I mean the power play was rolling pretty good. And um, yeah, no, everything was just kind of. I don't know. It was going pretty good. All right, thank you guys. Um, congrats on the win. Right. And thank you everyone for coming out to have a safe holidays. Thank you.